Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with a brand new video on the channel and today's video is all about the OnePlus 7 Pro 5G. This phone is a nightmare. Now obviously you might be like, why do you say that? It's a really nice phone, easy to use, easy to root, all of that. This is a Sprint variant, so the GM1925 very different phone in the aspect of wanting to root it sprint kind of just destroyed the operating system of uh from oneplus and made it far more difficult than it needs to be it took me about two and a half days to figure out how to root one of these without causing a boot loop no matter what i did it would cause a boot loop so while I did find out there was an answer on like page 5 of a 10 page thread to my issue, I'm not going to, on XDA developers, I'm not going to sit there and read 10 pages of, you know, one post in a section of hundreds of posts to find an answer when someone could just answer my question in the question and answer section. Um, anyway. That's my little rant. Sorry about that. So to get started with this, we're going to start from the beginning. I'm going to flash this to Sprint's uh, Android 9 firmware. Then I'm going to use the Sprint Unlocker and then flash TWRP. So I'm going to have you guys come along for the ride, show you exactly how I did it, just in case anybody else has questions and needs them answered. So. Let's get into it. First thing you want to do is download this specific uh, Sprint Flash tool, which you want to run it. It takes a second. I don't know why it takes so long to run. I wonder if I can, like... <laughs> I can. There's nothing in it that's useful. Uh, uncheck SHA-256 check, and then you want to plug the phone into your computer while hold, while it's powered off and with both volume buttons held down. You'll see it's connected. You want to click the enum button and then hit start. And from here it's going to flash brand new uh OnePlus firmware for uh Android 9.0. Now the big thing you want to do here is this does take around 250 to 280 seconds worth of time. So that's like uh, four or five minutes. Towards the end of the flashing process, you want to be paying attention because if you're not, you're going to miss your ability to put it back in this mode for the sprint unlock. Uh, for the sprint variant unlock part of this because you don't want it to boot fully into the system so once this is done I'll come back and explain that part so like I said it's going to take 250 to 280 seconds I'm not going to make you guys sit here and watch that whole thing so I'm going to pause the recording and I'll be back in a moment all right, it's 200 seconds, not 250. Whoops. So anyway, I'm holding the volume buttons right now. I think it's connected, but if it's not, I can simply unplug it from the computer, boot it to fast boot by holding volume down and power. Fast boot, bootloader, whatever, same thing. So I have it booting right now. Sorry, I don't have my camera to show this. And actually what I'll do is pass boot. And what, so there we go. So you can close this. It's 208 seconds, depending on how fast your computer is. So at the moment, that's what I wanted. Fast boot devices. As you can see, I do have fast boot enabled. I'm in the bootloader. And I cannot flashing unlock. Fast boot flashing unlock. Not allowed. So if I power it off, unplug it from my computer, go to power off in the bootloader, 
and go to my sprint unlock. You'll see this is a custom OPS file that just enables OEM unlocking, which is why you don't want to boot into the system. I wish I understood how to make these custom files. That would be fun. I wonder what else you could do. Anyway, uncheck SHA-256. And this is, again, one of those situations where you have to pay attention because you need to reboot to the bootloader immediately. Do not let the phone boot into uh, Android or else you're going to have a bad time. So I have the phone completely powered off. I'm going to hold down both volume buttons. Uncheck SHA-256 check, plug it in. As you can see, it's connected. I'm gonna hit start. This only takes like 10 seconds, if not less. So by the time it says um, download complete, start holding your down arrow, or your volume down, sorry. Come on. Oh, no! Ah, crap, I just... I put it in the wrong language. I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, I'm hoping it boots back up and I can select language again because I put it in... Whatever the very first option is. Okay, English. And I need to go to reboot to fastboot. Reboot to fastboot. There we go. We're gonna click stop and close this. And now we go into fastboot. So as you can see, fastboot devices, it's there. We do fastboot flashing unlock. That one seems to give problems. Don't use that. I don't know why. I had issues when using that. You want to use OEM unlock. You'll get the prompt on the screen asking if you want to unlock your bootloader. I'm going to hit yes. And then you still don't want to let it uh, boot into Android. Do not let it boot into the full system. So what you need to do is when it says wiping, please wait, start holding your volume down button again so you can boot into the bootloader. And there we go. Go to English, go to Advanced, go to Reboot to Fast Boot. And you will see that I am connected and I do have a device state unlocked. So now is when we do the stuff with TWRP. So you don't want to do Fast Boot Flash. That will brick it. You'll have to start over from the Sprint firmware. So fast boot, boot. This specific TWRP. There were others that people linked in their tutorials. None of those ones worked for me. This is the only one that worked. So enter. And I got to thank somebody that was in the uh, Pokemon Go community for thinking to try this one. I would have never thought to try this one. But we are now in uh, TWRP on the device. It does show up as a GM1917 when you use this TWRP. That is fine. So you want to hit uh, never show the screen during boot again, and you want to allow modification. From there, you want to sideload this zip file. So go advanced, ADB sideload. A uh, wiped Alvic cache and cache is just always a smart idea. And then you do ADB sideload, TWRP installer. Yes, I know it's an outdated version of TWRP. That is fine. This is the only one that didn't give me issues with having to reboot constantly. So we are reconnected again. TWRP is installed. I also want to root it. So I need Magisk. And I don't have the newest one on this computer. Hold on. I need to get that APK. One sec. If you don't know where to get Magisk, the only legitimate place on the internet to get it is from the GitHub, which is right here. 
I'm getting a spam caller. Cool. I want to see if it is. I bet it is. Hello. They hung up on me. Anyway, I was going to put them on speaker and mess with them. Anyway, so you can actually download this APK. Save it. I'm going to move it over to... Oh, I already had it. That's okay. I'm going to move it over to here. As you can see, I did a lot for trying to make this work. And this was finally the method that worked. So that's in here. And now we just do ADB sideload again. Uh, I need to enable sideload. Hold on. There we go. Hit enter. I am now rooted. I have yet to find a ROM that works, and I did not get any GSI images to work. From what I'm told, to get it all to work, you need to change the boot slot that you're on. So you basically use the command uh, fastboot set active equals other. And that'll flip your boot slot and then use let it reboot into fastboot. So you do that one. Actually, here, I'll just do it. So I'm going to reboot to fastboot. Do not install TWRP as a system app. That gets really annoying, trust me. So once you're in fastboot, as you can see, if you are having issues booting, what you can try is fastboot set active equals other. And I was on slot A, it now moved me to slot B, so I can try to boot it from there. If that doesn't work, um, just use that command again, put it back to whatever the original one you were on is, and then boot. And that should work. So I'm going to sit here, make sure this phone boots, because... Good lord, this thing has been so annoying to work with. I really want to run .OS on this device because that's, I think, my second favorite Android ROM. GSI images on these devices are reporting giving issues of GPS not working. It's not turning on. GPS not working. Um... Cellular data not working and Wi-Fi not working. Right now the whole phone's not working. I'm going to be really sad if I messed something up during this and I didn't realize it. Oh, I was just impatient. I had to hit the power button. And it went forward. So if it gets stuck at that, hey, your bootloader's unlocked screen, hit your power button and see if it boots. But it says 5 seconds and then it's going to boot. That was more like 15 or 20. So give it a second. It might be slow on its first boot. Right now it is booting. I want to make sure it fully boots. Because there's a difference between getting to the boot animation and booting into Android. Very big difference. But now that I have it reset, I'm going to play with it and try to get a ROM to work. And then I'll probably make a video about how to get ROMs working. Um... Once I have that all set up and done, because I really want to run .OS on this. Or I'll just leave it, because realistically, uh, OnePlus's operating system is fantastic. So, please boot. Oh, hey, speaking of which, while I'm waiting for this thing, I made a new Twitter. My old Twitter I lost access to because the email domain and email do not exist anymore. So I had to make a new one, and I made one that's more of a themed account. I called it Idiots of eBay. And the whole point of this Twitter account is just telling quick stories once, twice, three times a day of the people I deal with on eBay, Facebook Marketplace, Swappa, OfferUp, um, in person. Just telling quick stories in Twitter posts. And it booted. As you can see, it's a GM1925. It's reading correctly. It's booted. Should work. 
and it's all set to go. But that Twitter page, if you want to follow it, I'll leave the link in the description. Um, Let's get started. This device features TalkBack, a navigation feature for the visual challenge. Turn on TalkBack prep. You're not as good as Siri. Stop trying. But yeah, if you want to follow that Twitter, that'd be awesome. Share my tweets. I think it's going to be a fun Twitter to have. Eventually, I'll integrate like uh, screenshots and stuff. Maybe I'll do short videos of uh, some of the conversations and just do some rants. And that's probably where I'll start posting my uh, YouTube rants and stuff like that. So anyway, talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I hope this helps somebody because, oh my God, this was a process to figure out. Talk to you later. Peace out.